Hi everyone, this is Chris Jane from Glyphast Consulting. And today I'm going to show you some features around multi-role variable sets. Multi-role variable set or MRVS was a heavily requested feature from the community that was finally introduced in the London release. MRVS allows users to group multiple variables into a single instance and have users create as many of those instances as needed. One use case is for catalog items that need to be requested for multiple individuals with different levels of access. In this demonstration, I will show, number one, how to create a MRVS, two, the values stored in the MRVS variable, and three, show you guys how to display MRVS values in the table format in notifications. So here, I have a catalog item to request access to Lucidchart. In the, at the bottom of the page, we can create a new variable set in the variable sets related list. On the next screen, we will select multi-role variable set. We will name it Lucidchart Access and save. Now, instead of saving it, I have already created this, so let's go to the one that I've created. Now, similar to traditional variable sets, we can define the variables we want to group together. In this instance, we have two variables, name and access. Name is a reference field uh, to our user table, and access is just a select box that specifies whether the user should have standard, professional, or enterprise license. After all of this is configured, let's go submit one in our service portal. We can use the add button to create a new row for the MRVS we defined. We'll give Able Tutor the standard license. Abraham Lincoln, a professional license. and Adela Cervantes and Enterprise License. After checking out, let's see what it looks like in the platform. In the various variable section, we can see the rows that we submitted from the portal. If we open up the record and explore, Explore is a free ServiceNow developer tool from Yspace. I highly recommend developers to use it. We can see the data structure stored in the MRVS in here. As you can see, the data is stored in an array of objects with the name and access properties for each object. However, since our name variable is a reference field, only the sysid is stored in this object. If the sysid is all you need for your script, then we can definitely leverage this method. However, for our purposes, we want to display the name of the user for, in our notifications, and we'll need the display value of the reference field instead of the sysid. We can achieve this with some additional queries on the SC multi-row question answer table. We will see how to do this next in the notification record. Here is the notification record that will trigger when a lucid chart access item has been submitted. And since we'll be doing some scripting, we'll create a mail script named MRVS underscore lucid chart to handle the input. Next, in the mail script, we can definitely write the logic here, but since we want to make the script as reusable as we can, we will put it in a script include so we can leverage this function for future MRVS variables. In the script include here, we have a function to return the HTML code for the email. You can style the table in any way you like, but I went with the table format since that's how it looks like in the platform and portal. As mentioned previously, the question answer for the multi-row variable sets are stored in the SC multi-row question answer table. We will leverage this to get the display value for our user. In this table, the question field is a reference to the actual variable definition. So we know which table the sysid came from. 
then all we have to do is a glide record query to the reference table to get a display value. Shout out to my teammate Tom for this piece of code. Then the final result of the notification should be ni a nicely formatted table with our users and their access and should look like this. Thank you for watching this video on multi-role variable sets. Mm -hmm.